Good day, traders. How y'all doing today? Um, not a lot happened happening today, as far as divergence goes. Yeah, we had divergence right here. You know, you know what's really funny? I first want to say the jolts news today that happened at ten o'clock about fifty-five minutes ago. In the olden days, <laughs> that wouldn't cause anything, any disturbance. It would just sit there and go up and down like five to seven pips. That's all it would do. Nobody would even look at it or even regard it. But now look what it does. You see this? With the many, many, many more trillions of dollars in the fucking world <clears throat> and the craziness of the markets because of it, this is what, it, what happened here. See? <clears throat> so anyway, there's no there's no divergence. Even though it came down here, I was where I was ready to sell if I would have saw some explosive action to the downside. There was none. It was sitting here calmly and it was hardly moving when it was moving like mad in here. So everybody was was going was wondering. This is like a wonder area where they're wondering. Hmm, I think. I don't know what it's going to do. <laughs> so that's what happened. And then it slowly kind of broke out and went up here and made a higher high and a low and a higher high. So when it came up here, okay, there's our higher highs. You can see I drew it out already on here. And when this came down here, I was waiting for, you know, some kind of movement down here to come down. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. Instead, it kept going higher. Probably because they realized this craziness sell-off yesterday because of NVIDIA and who knows what else in the tech industry or whatever. <clears throat> They're going, I don't think we need to be down here. I think we should buy it up now and, you know. Because all the people in their mind from yesterday, they're bearish. They got bearish thoughts in their mind. And they shouldn't. Because you got to trade what you see, not what you think. And you got to trade it right here, right now. And if the market's going up, it's not bearish, okay, at this moment in time. That's how you got to trade. So anyway, I never did one fucking trade here um, because <clears throat> I didn't see it. There was a trade here. Was it here that I missed it? No, it was over here. I was going to buy this dip right here. Um, look how far it went up. It didn't go up far. <laughs> I don't know. Like, Well, maybe it went up around 40 points or ticks or something like that. And now we're having another higher high here. Okay, now is that gonna is that gonna pan out? I don't know. See, just like that. Well, we, we need the for price to come down, the five to cross down below the seven, and then there's another criteria I look at. And that's not happening. They're just drifting it higher, but you see how crazy it moved in here, and look look at how it's moving now. Little tick by tick, 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 tock, tick, tock. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, there's no fucking divergence. There's there's not much of anything. Like, holy jeez Louise. And that's what we have with uh, the NASDAQ today on the two minute. Let's see, I could, I could put it on the five and see if there's something happening there. Actually, there was. There was divergence on the five minute. Um, let me show you. So we had a low. Oh, wait a minute. No, not that one. Not that one. I was drawing it from the wrong place. So we got low and lower low. So this is after the news you would have got in. Okay. Um, so you take it from here, up to here, just like that. Okay, oh, I'll leave that one on. And there's your trade. So when it came back up and closed up here, 
you would have bought a pullback or bought it here, whatever, whichever one. Um, give me the damn arrow here. So let's say you would have bought it somewhere in this area where it was fumbling around. <clears throat> Okay, um, it went up a ways. It went, definitely went up a ways. So let's say we got in right here at the top of this candle, right right near, right near, here, let's say. It went up. The potential was 520 ticks. So it was definitely a good trade. Oh, now I see the other one. See, I wasn't looking at the five-minute. I always usually look at the two-minute. Okay, um, here it is right here, lower close. Buy it right there, and up it goes. It would have been good. It would have been good. Yes. Let me measure that one for fun. Say we got in right there. Max potential. 232 ticks. Yeah. So there was a couple dips to buy um, on the long side. But you got to admit... <laughs> This this setup here, okay, the lower lows in the chart, and then here and up, it's it's kind of difficult to see it. You know what I mean? I see it because I've seen all kinds of crazy quirks like this where you go, was there a divergence there or not? I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, anyway, that's it for the NASDAQ uh, today. Let's uh, take a look, see now at the... Um, holy jeez, I'm moving the video. And you can see I'm watching Nutty. That's Nutty there. Okay, let me find my chart without exposing the streams that I watch. Um, okay, it's right here. I'll bring over the right one now. Okay, so this is the S. No, it's not. What the hell? Oh, I have them both on the on the uh, the Nasdaq. Here's the S and fucking P right here. Fuck. Here it is. Here it is. Does it have that same trade? Right here? No. See, doesn't it have that same trade here at all. No. Nope. So. Is there any trades in here in this fucking whiplash? No, not at all. There's only one trade here today, and that's up there. Do you see it right here? Lower close, buy it, and up. It's going. It's a going up. That's the other trade. Max potential. Oh, look at that. It just keeps going now. 53 ticks or points or whatever or 5.3. I don't know how to measure the S&P. Anyway, that's it for that. So let's go and bring on the MetaTrader 4. Here's the NASDAQ 5-minute. We already looked at this trade. Remember, right here, low and, and then to the bottom of the wick. And uh, yeah, from this whatever little cluster here. Right there, and you would have got long. Right there. Right? And that's it. Okay, let's move on now to the S&P. I'll try and make this video shorter today. Um, S&P, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same trade on the five-minute. It's right here. This is, their, this, is, this, is, this is where they get people every day between 9 and 10 o'clock. They fucking... You know, they get you. Actually, not between 9. Between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. Uh, actually, 10.30. Up to 10.30. But you, this is what they, what they do. They, get every, they, they bring it up. They get everybody buying. And then they take it down and they lose. And then they take it down and everybody's selling. Then they take it back up here. This is what they do. They and 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 this isn't new. <laughs> this isn't anything new, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I'm laughing, but it's true. They've been doing this for decades. 
If you thought I was going to say years, no, decades, fucking decades. The first time I ever traded the, um, it, it was, it, it was the S and P. Yeah. It was the S and P that I was trading. It was in 2007 and they were doing that shit back then. 2007, man. That's, that's how, how long ago. It's like 20, 27 years ago. It's like almost three decades they've been pulling this same fucking shit right here. Same shit. You know, different year, different decade. They've been doing it. So I just wanted to make that point clear. If at all costs, and I have said this to you before a long time ago, don't fucking trade this shit here. Wait for it to break out of this. When it, Like tomorrow. Put a fucking line right here at the highs. And then put a line wherever you find more traffic down here, wherever. And wait and see if it breaks through it and which way it's going to go. Usually, like Nutty says, the market only goes up. Actually, he is partly right about that. He, um, for some reason, the market keeps going up and up and up more than it goes down right even though lately we've been seeing some major crash downwards but uh it doesn't go up all the time but it, it tends to go up so after they do one of these what happens it usually just goes up and that's what it's doing today so put a line there and put a line there and, and wait to see when you see solid not wicks but solid right here like this bullish candle you see solid candles to the upside buy the next dip which would be right here get in and up you go you know but don't get suckered into buying the speed of the open of the market and you know don't get sucked into buying up here and selling down here and then you know you're gonna get fucked you're gonna get whiplashed i know i've done it before yeah if you really want to avoid it, <laughs> trade a slower market. Don't trade the fucking NASDAQ. Don't trade the S&P. Definitely don't trade the Dow. The Dow moves in hundreds, huge, you know? Go trade something that moves, that doesn't move as rapidly as this. Like, I don't, I don't know what you'd want to trade. I don't want to say, but like there's oil, there's gold, you know? There's other markets that don't move rapidly like this and they're not as much hunting you down like a fucking animal right and that's my advice to you if you're getting chopped up big time that's something you could do don't trade from 9 30 to 10 30 <laughs> especially 9 30 to, to like quarter to nine quarter to ten 9 30 to quarter to ten yeah Everybody used to say that, oh, yeah, I'm just going to wait for 15 minutes to pass and then I'm going to jump in. Yeah, well, they're still fucking shaking and baking people. They are. Okay, let's move on. This is uh, the Dow. Oh, look at this fucking chop in the Dow. Lots of dips to buy if you trust buying them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So basically, it's a double bottom. A little shy on the right side, right? But it's okay. And this goes up like that. See what it got long in there. And that went up 160 points right there. And there's the dip. I'll put the dips. I'll just put two. Two dippies. One there. Buy the dip. Sell the rip baby and right here there you go you could call this a, a hookup right here but anyway there's more of them up here look see here's another one and another one i'll put them on i'll put them on for you guys yeah uh it's right here this one. Oh, it's tumbling now yeah there was one here too and it worked. There's all your trades on the Dow. Buy the dip, sell the fucking rip. Oh, look at it tumbling fast now. 
Woo-wee, here we go. <laughs> this could be the big move down. Yeah. Pound dollar. Yeah, it's kind of like divergence here. The opening of this current candle right now would be the trade where to get short. Stop would be 18 pips. We've already gone six pips. Okay, let's take a quick look at the euro. It's probably doing the same thing right now. Yeah. There is divergence here, though. It's a little tricky to draw it and see it, but it is there. See, so you come right down the air, down here like that. There's the divergence. You would right on the opening of this candle, you would have sold it right there and see where that goes today. That's a euro, pound yen. What did it do? What did it do? Oh, look at all this bottoming action. There's a ton of fucking wicks. They're saying, hello, we want to go up. Up. We want to go back up. Right here. Was there any trade in here? Yeah, there was. It's kind of hard to see it. It's so small. But it's there. Just like that. And you would have sold right in there. And it went down. 80, 80 pips to the bottom. Beautiful trade. Yeah, there was more trades. <laughs> At the mark of all in, I guess so. Double top. <laughs> right here, double bottom. <laughs> um, where's the other one? I don't know. Something like that. Hidden divergence. And then you would have sold it in here. Well, this one first, you would have sold it up here, double top, and down it went. And then the retracement, and then it set, up, set us up for our hidden divergence trade okay right in here you would have sold it and it went down nicely then we had a double bottom double bottom divergence right there and you would have bought it in there and up it went that would have been a winner also and then we had this little one and it went all the way down and right now we have all this bottoming action with with a ton of wicks that probably going to take it back up here, maybe back up here. Not not sure. Who knows, right? They could take it, keep taking it down. But uh, there's no there's no trade yet. Got to wait for a candle to close up here. We got to wait for the five to cross up above the seven, and the way you go, right? So that's all the trades here. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Beautiful trades on the fucking pound yen today. Euro yen, same trade. See, same thing. Double top. Uh, this one here, lower lows. This one here, hidden divergence. It's all there. Same trade here. Right here, ding, ding. See? It's all the same because these two pair, uh, Euro yen and pound yen, they followed each other. like Just like, you know, like the NASDAQ and the fucking, and the, and the S&P. Same thing. They they pair up these these markets and they move in sync with each other kind of deal. You know? That's what happens. But anyway, um, I don't have to draw them all again, do I? <laughs> like, yeah, I do. I do. Well, not draw them all, but. There's a little difference, you know, higher highs instead of a double top or something like that, you know. And, uh, yeah. Would have got short in there, down it went. You would have got short in here, and down it went. And you would have got long. 
in here and up it went. Same thing, all the same trades here, right? See? And there's this one. The hidden divergence. Like that. And this one. Like that. See? There it all is. <laughs> divergence on every fucking turn and crossover with the five and the seven. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I'm sorry. I'm laughing. These are, are this is laughter of joy. Okay? Because I just love to see a day like this. That there's fucking divergence on every fucking turn. Almost, you know, and it's all, they're all winners. It's just, that's a beautiful thing. I, I wish that the NASDAQ would look like this today, you know, but it's doing its thing. It's, it's, it's fucking people, right? <clears throat> okay, let's look at oil. Oh, mother fucker. 130 points, just like that in five minutes. And then right fucking back down again. You mother fuckers. And there was divergence here before this happened. Like, right here like that. But that was some news or something. 1740. I don't know. Something spiked the fucking market up like crazy. Woo! I was going to go and try and trade gold today. And I said, nah, just leave it alone. It was, it was moving, it was right in here, I think it was. It was moving slow. I just said, no, I'm not touching it. And then this happened right after. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I didn't try and trade it. You know, sometimes I, I, I can't find a fucking trade on the NASDAQ or the fucking S&P or whatever. And, 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 you know, it kind of gets underneath your skin. And you want to you want to do a trade. You want everybody wants to do a trade and make money. That's what this game's all about, right? So I go fucking slumming into to something I don't know anything about. I don't know the behavior of gold or oil. Oil a little bit, but gold? No, I've never really traded gold. I always thought it was wacko, and I shouldn't go now. So if that's the same thing with you, if you know, if you have one market that you trade regularly, you know, stick to, and if it's working for you at, at most of the time, at least stick to it because you know it more so like the back of your hand than to go and jump into some other market. You don't know the movement behavior behind it. You see what I mean? Leave it alone. Leave it be. Let it do whatever it wants to do. Stick with the one you know. Okay, let's look at gold. That was oil. Yeah, we were looking at oil there. I think I was saying gold. <laughs> no, I said I wanted to go look at gold. Oh, here's gold. I'm looking at it. <laughs> See? Look, look. Is there divergence here? I think there is. No. It's pointing down. There's no divergence here in this spike, whatever the fuck that spike was. We did have a hookup, though, ladies and gentlemen. We did have a hookup right here. Actually, that's the wrong, <laughs> that's the wrong doodah. Doodah, doodah. Here we go. Right here. We got first candle to close below both moving averages. And then the next candle right beside it is the best one to use. Close back up above the moving averages. Then your entry would have been right here on this candle right here. And it went up 86 ticks, 86 points, whatever it may be. There you have it. So that's it for the markets that we cover. We cover, you know, the indices and the pound yen and euro yens. And we covered uh, oil, gold, 
And now we're going to look at cryptos. We have Bitcoin. It's just sitting there. XRP. Oh, XRP is up a little bit today. You know the golf clap where you lightly pat the palm of your hand? <laughs> That's the clap I give for the movement up. I want to see the motherfucker way up here, man. Way up here. Come on. Come on. Let's go like this. Right up there like that. That'll be what I want. It still won't even be anywhere near what I want. That would only be like at 90 cents or something. I want it to go to $90 or $190. Then we'd be styling. Then we'd be styling and I can get my CUDA. Yeah, baby. Okay, let's see. What's, what's silver doing today? Uh, it's not doing much. It's just hanging there down a little on the, on the, on the month, down a little bit. And uh, Ethereum. Yeah, it's, it's just doing the same thing there. It's been doing for a while. It's doing nothing, just sitting there. Looks like it's in a downtrend, though. See the double top up here and sell, and down we go. And we have, look, look what we have here. Huh? Look what we have here. We have a hook down. You would have sold it right there. Boom, down it goes. Yeah. There you have it. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching and listening today. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It's free to do so. If you like what I've taught you today and shared with you, let's let's just say I'm not teaching you. How about we say I'm just sharing really good information? Yeah, that's, it. that's a better way to put it. Because, you know, the thing in trading is... Everybody who gets into the trading space, the trading arena, they want they want to make money. But most importantly, they want to make it themselves. They want to, you know, accomplish it on themselves so they can be proud of themselves and call them, and one day hopefully call themselves a professional trader. So it's a very touchy subject when... You know, you try and say, oh, well, I can teach you this or I can show you that. You know, it, it's just better to say I'm sharing uh, this information about trading with you kind of thing. You know, you don't belittle them. Yeah. And, and, and that's what I want to say here to all you, you guys who watch my channel. Please don't ever take me in the way that I'm belittling you. I'm not. I'm just trying to share what I've know what I know and what I've learned over a very very long time very long career here and there's days I'm still losing too I'm being honest with you you know today I didn't do a fucking trade there's no divergence motherfuckers but anyway <clears throat> there was a couple you know lower close buy it and whatever but I didn't do the trade for some reason it didn't it just didn't look right and feel right today so anyway <clears throat> thank you once again uh, please leave a like more than anything I'd really appreciate that and uh, if you're trading this afternoon be careful who knows what could happen then <laughs> especially with this Nvidia news out there whatever's going on with that that's what caused most of what happened yesterday, that's what I heard anyway. Someone else talking about it. Um, all that I know is <laughs> try and be on the right side or you're going to get killed. All right. That's it for today. Good luck and good trading. <laughs>